Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Daily Downshift. Today we're doing something really awesome. We're taking the M2 G87 uh, to a shop actually, ECC. They're a great shop. They work on some amazing vehicles and uh, we're actually just going to get the stock car dynoed and then we're also going to actually have the car weighed. Now I know IND Distribution also did this with their vehicle, but I think there's might be a different spec. So the weight might be different and obviously horsepower, I guess, is just kind of dependent on the day and uh, and a couple other factors. So that's what we're doing today. I'm pretty excited. Uh, let's just cut over to when uh, when we get there. Alrighty, we've pulled up to ECC. Oh my, is that a Ferrari? Yes, sir. Damn, we got a McLaren M240i. All right, this will be this will be very interesting. Let's get out and take a look at some of these cars. Check this out. We have my G87 M2 right here. And this is actually super interesting. You can compare the reds. So this is the Toronto red. It's kind of like an orangey color. And then you got like a Ferrari red right here. Super different shades of red. And then the funny thing is you literally got an F87 right there. It's got no front, uh, no front grills, carbon steering wheel, manual, the way it should be. Nice carbon spoiler in the back. Very nice carbon diffuser as well. And then even funnier, we got a new M240i right there. B58 engine. So these things, you can't really see it, but it's all blacked out. Super, super nice car as well. So we got the older gen M2. We got the younger brother, the M240i. And then we got the new GD7 right there. So definitely a pretty good lineup. Literally just saw this beside the OG, but <laughs> you got the M2 comp as well right there. And then uh, older M3 right there up on the lift. You guys can barely see that beautiful yellow color. So nice McLaren, another Ferrari. Good selection of cars. M3 as well, very nice. We're gonna go ahead and put the car up on, I think the dyno first, and then we're gonna weigh it after. I just tanked up with uh, Petro 94 fuel. That's basically the highest that we can get here in Canada. So that should, you know, do pretty well in the dyno. And then uh, I also just tanked it up obviously. So the fuel is basically at max. It's probably at like 98, 99%. And I stripped the car of, you know, any of my personal belongings. There's literally just a t-shirt in there. So the weight and the horsepower should be super, super uh, accurate in this video. So we'll get a good baseline as to what this car makes, what it weighs, and then we will go from there. Alright guys, so it just came off the dyno, super happy with the stock results. It's obvious that this car is uh, not detuned from the M4 and M3. 470 to the wheel, wild. So what we got next guys is we're going to go ahead and throw the car on the scales. I'm um, going to get weights and you know check all the corners, see how well the car is balanced. 
um, and that'll kind of give me an idea of what kind of mods I should do to the car. In the future, I'd love to do like a carbon hood, full exhaust, you know, forged wheels, uh, maybe bucket seats, anything to really get the weight down, but obviously you don't want to mess with the car's uh, front to rear balance too much, so this is going to help us kind of make decisions on what kind of mods that we should do for this car. As of right now, I don't think any company makes carbon hoods, uh, so we're going to have to wait for that. Thirty-seven sixty-two. Nice. Heavy, but not too bad. What about the corner? The corner sets up. Yeah, yeah thousand seven. Yeah, right is a bit. Oh, yeah, that's left. that's kind of weird. Nine fifty-seven. Nine twenty-seven. Now what we should do okay. is. Interesting. Sit inside the car. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys. We're gonna sit inside, and we are gonna see what the uh, distribution looks like. So I'm about 165. Let's see. We're in the car. 39.30 on the dot. No, you gotta stand still. Yeah, sit still. Yeah. The front is pretty, pretty much balanced, and the rear is like 100 pounds weighted. 39.29. 39.29, okay. So I gotta lose some weight and the car's gonna lose some weight. <laughs> Sweet. Alrighty guys, so we are done at ECC. Big shout out to those guys for helping us out and getting us in on uh, such short notice. Those guys are always super accommodating, so it's a good time uh, being over there. But yeah, so we died of the car. 471 horsepower now right before we dynoed this car and waited actually I filled it up to hundred percent with 94 octane gas from Petro Canada It's basically the best stuff that you can get in Toronto obviously not talking about ethanol and stuff like that like E85 But yeah, that's the best stuff that you can get from uh, from pump gas And I think that probably contributed to that maybe extra 10 10 horsepower uh, It was also a pretty nice day today. You know, it is it is very hot but they had the fans going and everything. So I think it's a pretty accurate number. 470, we did it twice um, and it, it did replicate. We, we got the same numbers. I'm definitely, uh, definitely very happy with that. But of course, there's always room to go up. Now, when it comes to the weight, there is room to go down. And that's exactly what the idea of this build is going to be. We want to get a lot of carbon on this car um, and just save weight anywhere and everywhere we can without upsetting the balance too, too much. So it's going to be a fine line. We're going to have to see where exactly that line is. Um, but yeah, you know, hope you guys enjoy the journey and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, last thing I got to say before we leave, guys, this thing is a showstopper and a head turner. When I was at ECC, um, a lot of people were actually really into the car. They think it looks better in person than it does on camera and in pictures. And honestly, I agree. When I saw it, you know, for the first time, pictures, videos, I was like, eh, it's not that great, but you know, it's a nice new car. It'll be great for content. But now that I have this thing in person, I, I love it, guys. Seriously, and I'm not just saying that. I think it looks beautiful. It's boxy, raw, aggressive. The F87 is more of like a beautifully sculpt sculpted car. This is just raw and menacing, and I absolutely love it. And it's only going to get better, guys. Just wait for the mods. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below of all the numbers that we got. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.